Hi guys and welcome to episode number six of Men's Grooming Weekly. If we're just meeting, my name is Elliot Forbes, a male grooming specialist based in central London. This channel is dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man. So if that's you, you might want to consider subscribing. So as with every other week, we're going to be starting with reviewing a product. There's then going to be the top five haircuts of the week and we're going to finish with an Elliot answers. But to start with, we're going to go with my favourite TikTok video of the week. TikTok's where I'm putting a lot of my effort into recently. So if you like short, fun videos, go on there and follow me. It's at Elliot Forbes. So the product we are going to be using today is the Redkin Bruise and it's the Manuva Cream Pomade. And the way that they describe this product is add smoothness and hold to men's hairstyles with this water-based pomade for men. Water-based formula creates texture with low shine, great for pompadours and smooth, flexible styles. Same great formula with new packaging. Now I've never actually used this product before, uh, but I did use uh, a paste in, it was kind of like in a toothpaste tub from Redcoon a couple of years ago, which I really liked. It was really soft, um, but it gave it a real nice texture without really weighing it down too much. So uh, if it's a similar product to that, I'm quite looking forward to, to giving this a use today, actually. So actually, it's quite a decent sized product. It's 100 milliliters, so you get quite a bit of product in there. I believe it's around the 12 pound mark, although I think I've looked online, you can get it a little bit cheaper some places. Um, so it's, it's slightly more, it's more expensive than something you'd get in the supermarket or anything like that, but it also has to be honest, the tin is a little bit like supermarket product feel to it. It feels on the ch cheaper side. It's plastic tub, which you have through here. A bit more of a, a tinier top. Um, and yeah, I mean, if, if the product works okay, then you don't mind paying that price. But it's, say if you think of like the Layrite, if you, you'd pay round between 12 and 16 pounds for a tub of the Layrite, the Layrite actually is quite an elegant piece of packaging, if you think about that, uh, comparing to there. But let's go and put it in. We'll give it a little try now. Okay, so when you first open the tin and then pop your finger in, get, try and get some product out, it is very soft. Uh, it, you get it out of the tin very easily. You can work it through your hands, warm it up, and it instantly has that soft, pliable feeling to it. Uh, you don't really feel like you have to warm it up too much. It feels like instantly you can just put that into your hair once it's over your hands. You don't really feel like you've got to sort of activate it or anything like that. It feels very much like a soft cream, um, but not a cream that really is stays moist or goes dry. It's sort of it's very in between that actually. It's sometimes you get cream and it really spreads everywhere. Whereas this actually it sits in your hands, but it doesn't. Then when you're working it through the hair. When you put it into the hair then it doesn't feel as though it sort of it dries and you get that sort of mm, from that texture and the body through there it sort of is it goes into the hair um, and it retains a softness to it it doesn't really feel like it gets that grit or it doesn't feel like it's a cream where a cream it goes really really soft and it sort of gets the it just coats the hair and it sits this still feels like it's somewhere in between i actually put some extra product into the front because i, I put it in and i feel like actually straight away it's not necessarily gonna hold or last through the day. I kind of feel like this is something that's after a few hours, you can almost feel as though, well, what product? What product's in my hair? Did, did I put anything in? Um, so I'll be interested to see how this, this lasts actually. It gives it quite a nice texture, I would say, at the start, but then even running my hands through it then, like, and this is a minute, two minutes after putting it in, already feels very much, you can, I mean, you can feel like the product in your hair, but it doesn't really feel like there's lots in there or that it's got any hold. So I feel like this is probably some, and even see then, it, this is already starting to sink in through this area straight away, actually. Um, so I've got a feeling that this is not going to last amazingly through the day. So something, I'd imagine this is something that if you have a bit more of a flowy look, on my short, shorter look where I want to keep a bit of volume, I think it's not going to be great. If you have hair where it's a little bit longer and trying to push it back and want something that's got a little bit of hold and maybe uh, just to sit back with, with, without looking like this product in, that might be a look. Uh, that might be a winner. What we'll do is we'll check in back at the end of the day, see how that has lasted. I'm gonna go and wash my hands now. The water, it is water-based product, so I'd imagine it's gonna wash off super easy. And now to my top five haircuts of the week. And in at number five is this photo taken from Versace's Instagram. Very short, very sharp, very groomed. It's got more of a, a shine to it, just pushed over very elegantly. Nothing too crazy short in through the sides, but just well done haircut. In at number four is Cruz Beckham's haircut, which he was sporting at Victoria Beckham's fashion shoot from London Fashion Week that's just gone. I'd imagine it's probably not long being cut, but it doesn't look like it's been cut. It's short around the edges, but it's still got a very textured look in through the real jagged edges. And at number three is this image from Calvin Klein's Instagram. And it's, it's sort of very much a Beatles mop top, 90s sort of style haircut, really inspired by that. It's a very soft, natural texture and works great. 
Now in at number two is this haircut from Fendi's Instagram and it's very much a strong internal shape but soft it through the external and the way that they've cut it, it's enabled the outline just to, to have that natural flick, the natural wave with it. You can see through the front how that then parts and just gives it a nice little flick and a curl. It's very soft texture, something that's probably been blow dried into it, like a, a fine paste or something like a sea salt spray, just to give it a little bit of extra body and to maintain that strong silhouette which it's got. And in at number one this week is actually Kevin Richard Parker from Tate in parlor and I really love this look of what's going on with him at the moment he's got just slightly off center part in the sort of the, almost like a balayage effect where it just then goes from darker then into a lighter effect at the very bottom it's showing that obviously the men's hair color is is here and is going to be getting even stronger with it I think it looks amazing what he's got going on the haircut is doesn't really look feminine at all it looks very masculine uh, but it's it's a real powerful punchy look without it looking too sort of loose and airy fairy real strong look to it Okay, so now on to today's Ellie answers. And the question today is, I'm growing my hair long. How do I make sure it'll look like this guy's instead of turning into a mullet? Well, this is a problem that a lot of guys have when they are growing their hair out. It always turns up into a mullet or feeling like it's a mullet. It always feels like it's a lot longer at the back. And if you think about the growth pattern and the growth of your hair, especially if you turn to the side, obviously this area is a lot lower than, than it is at the front. So it's always going to feel like it grows into a mullet because that is always lower. So that's always gonna sit closer to your collar. As it's growing out, you just need to make sure that that is brought up and any of the excess weight in the wrong areas is taken out of the haircut. People, when they grow their hair, there's two ways. I mean, you, you can either put a hat on and just let it grow out or you can have it cut so that it's the grow out phase is a lot easier. I always, obviously, as a barber, I'm going to advocate having your hair cut and so you can wear it whilst it's growing out. But as long as you're taking the back up and back up and back up, then it's never going to feel like a mullet. And then once it all gets to the right length, then you can let it grow further so it's all part of the one haircut. As it's grown out, you're going to sort of feel as though it's in two different lengths. So as it's grown out, cut it back up and then it can all grow out to one. So the next question today, trying to give myself a similar haircut, is it possible with clippers? If so, how? Now, we look at this photo of Zac Efron, and I would say actually, it's you've got to be wary of the type of hair texture that you've got. So say for example, if I tried to use clippers and cut my hair off myself, even if I went down and left it quite long, so if I did like a grade six or a grade seven, the way that my hair texture is, it would still look like a clipper cut. So it would look like, it would look very blocky. It would look like I had a microphone on top. Whereas some people, you can run a four over it and all of a sudden, if they put a little bit of product in, it's, it's very textured and it doesn't necessarily look like it's been a clipper cut. It's, it's understanding what type of hair texture that you have and knowing that. And obviously, as if you've lived with your hair for a certain period of time, you'll know exactly what it is. So I would say if your hair sits naturally textured, go for it. I would say you can still take it a little bit shorter in through the sides, but I would only go probably one clipper length lower or else you'll end up with a step. Um, I personally am not going to recommend clippering it yourself because it's you. if you go to a barber and get it done professionally, it's going to look 10 times better. Just the extra refinement details of cleaning around the edges, gently tapering it out. It's You're never going to do the back as nice as a professional is going to do it. So I would always advise against doing that or I'd advise to go to see a professional to get it done. But you can achieve a similar look to what Zach's got there if you have the right texture. So it's understanding what you have really. So now we're gonna head on to future Elliot and see how this hair product has lasted throughout the day. So to be honest, I've completely forgot about recording last night. Yeah. I was absolutely knackered. I was sort of working on the laptop late last night and trying to work on a, a new ad. So I actually I didn't get anything of that done. But what I would say is the product was a big no-no for me. When it disappeared after like two hours and there was just like literally no product in there. Even at the start, it didn't give any sort of hold. And by the end, it was just was like there was literally nothing in. I did nothing strenuous, didn't sort of get sweaty, didn't work out, was just sat on the laptop. So actually that was a massive no-no for me. So. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you have any questions for myself at all, please feel free to get in touch with me. My social media channels are all here and they're all gonna be linked down below. If you would like to have your haircut by me at all, I am based in central London, right in the heart of Soho, Wednesday through Saturday. And if you would love to book an appointment, you can just go onto my website and all the links are on there. Thank you all for watching. Much love, Elliot.